Hey guys, I'm just getting out of the house for the first time today. Um, it's only, you know, afternoon, but that's okay. Um, welcome to Wait a Minute. My videos, my thoughts, and I'm sharing them with you. Um, yesterday, I made a video that was completely off the cuff, did not know what I was going to say, and um, it worked out pretty good. Today's probably going to be roughly the same thing. I'm not the same story, but the same... I'm going to do it the same way. Off the cuff. Don't know what I'm going to say. So, like, as always, and some of you guys know this and some of you don't, just pretend that you're in my car and we're having a talk. Just us. Just talking. That's what I'm here for. That's what I'm doing. And, yeah, I'm totally about uh, sharing with you. So, here we go. So, yesterday was a good day for me. Well, in a lot of ways, it was a good day for me. Um... It was, well, I had therapy yesterday, which is always good, but I also had um, time to, to visit with a friend of mine who I'm really close with, but I don't see that often, so it was really nice to kind of catch up, but also not nice, but it was also good to be there for him because he needed some things, and I was helping him out, and because um, I love him, not because I felt obligated, but because I wanted to, because I love him, and um, I was thinking while we were doing stuff together that... Um, and I told him this. This is not this is not private or anything. But um, people have to want to help themselves. I don't know if you if you guys realize this or not. And I'm sure I've talked about this before. But let me just let me just vent a little bit. And I'm not saying that he doesn't know this or whatever else. I just was. It, I got inspired while we were talking about this. Um, people have to want to help themselves. I mean, you can um, you can be there for somebody. And then you can be there for somebody. Two different things. You can be there for somebody as their um, facilitator, as you know, an accomplice in the things that they do in life. You bail them out all the time. Um, you can do that, but they'll never get to the next step. You know what I'm saying? They'll never get there. Um, and that's that's sad, especially when someone's older and um, you know should have learned this lesson ten years ago or more. Um, it's, it's a thing, you know? Well, here's the deal, okay? Just because somebody should have learned something a long time ago doesn't mean that they don't need your help, okay? Um, this is a thing that gets that gets asked of me a lot of times, so I'm gonna answer the question right now. Um, when I help somebody, when it's just me, just for myself, because I, I mean, uh, it has nothing to do necessarily with ministry, just me being um, a Christian and, and a friend and whatever and loving on people, Sometimes it's just that because I want to be there. So in that case, I don't have exactly the same uh, criteria as I do when it's ministry. But when I'm when I'm reaching out to someone or someone reaches out to me first, I should say, um, if I know if I know you and I know that this is becoming a habit, you know, you know, we might approach things a little bit differently. You know, whereas in the beginning I may have done whatever. Now that it's further along and it's, it's a repeat for 20 times, I might not do that whatever again. I might do it differently than I would have at the beginning. Um, there is a set criteria in my mind, in my heart, in my ministry that um, that it's kind of a, uh, not a barrier, but it's a filter that keeps, uh, keeps people from just using and abusing. I see that a lot in other churches and other places. And I'm not saying, I'm not putting down the churches, I'm just saying I don't have those um, uh, resources that they do. So I see people living off the church or living off whatever, you know, food pantry or whatever that they got. And I've realized that there's times when you really need that. I've really needed that lots of times. I've gotten help myself many times. Um, but I also you know, didn't want to keep doing the same thing, so I tried different things, you know what I mean? Um, I made a lot of financial mistakes, and a lot of things, you know, I'm not, not putting myself above anybody else, I'm just saying where I'm at right this moment, um, you know, I'm doing pretty good, I'm, I'm saving money, I'm, I'm trying to get everything back on a, like a budget, know what I'm doing, get it, get it done, get it done, and um, so I'm working to, to be, you know, it only took me 55 years to get there, but no. Um, but you know, when you're, when you're living off that thing, you know, if somebody pays your electric bill this month, don't expect them to pay it next month. 
I mean, they might. It might be a safety net for you to get on your feet. But, you know, work toward paying it yourself. Don't be like, oh, well, I know they're going to pay it for three months, so I, I can I can spend that money on this. No, no, no. Try to do better. If you're not making enough money to pay your bills, try to get another job. And if you can't get another job that pays more, get a second job. I'm not saying that, like, lighthearted. I'm saying that, like, um, you know, life is tough. Sometimes we have to do things we don't want to do. I've done things I didn't want to do lots of times. Um, but I'm, I'm not saying that, I'm not being harsh toward anybody. I'm just saying I know a lot of young people who are hardworking, doing their best to make it in the world, to, doing their best to get something, you know, um, working toward a goal. And they're just young people, but they're doing it. You know what I mean? I know people that, um, I just, this, I think it's 21 or something like that. I, this, this guy that I know, um, just bought a house. I mean, at like 20 years old or whatever it is. Holy cow, you know? Um, it's amazing. And uh, part of the deal of him getting the house was through my, my nephew, who is a realtor. And that was awesome too, because I'm proud of him. He's, he's a realtor, he's doing amazing. And the person who bought the house is doing amazing. I'm proud of both of those guys, you know? And they're young. Well, here's my, here's my thing is, it's not just young people, it's older people too, get adjusted to everybody doing everything for them, you know? gotta be grateful for what you get but you also can't let everybody else do everything for you because you're not getting anywhere that way you're getting stuff but you're getting lazy you're getting used to it you're expecting stuff when the reality of it is is here here's your stuff that they gave you but you didn't earn any of it so you're eventually your your um, attitude toward it becomes you're lazy and you feel guilty, not necessarily guilty, but you feel unaccomplished, like you didn't do anything. People who have been on the system and then go to work, they are so much happier. I can tell you that for myself. When I can work, well, I can't work now, but when I used to be able to work, um, even if it's just a little bit of extra money coming in, something where I'm actually, you know, putting myself out there, I'm actually contributing to my own life, my own you know, my own money, I'm getting that there, so I'm contributing it to my own self-care or whatever. That's amazing. That makes your attitude so much better, it builds your confidence, everything. Um, and if you're letting everybody do everything for you, you're not getting that. You know what I mean? So here's the deal. Don't do that. You have to want to be helped. You can't just want things. You have to want to be helped. And in my in my life, in my ministry, in the way I do things, is if you don't want to be helped, if you don't want to actually do something with yourself, you're not going to contribute, then, you know, I, I'll be there for you. I'll love on you. I, I'll do, you know, everything I can to help you. But if you don't want that help, then, you know, we're probably just going to hang out, you know, because there's nothing I can do for somebody who doesn't want help. If somebody doesn't want to get any better than where they're at, there's nothing I can do. It took me a long time to get there, therapy even, but... It's hard. I mean, I'm not, I don't think that tough love should be cruel. So it's not like I wouldn't, you know, take somebody out for coffee or something. I wouldn't like not spend anything on them or whatever. But when I see what they do with the help that they've had because they don't really want help, they want a hand up, um, then I don't give. I really don't. And that's hard because you know you want these people, you want to love on these people, you want them to do better. But you can want all day long for somebody to do better. And if they don't contribute to that, they're not going to do any better. You've wasted resources that you could have given to somebody else. Just saying. So anyways, um, I'm very careful about, about who I raise money for, who I give money to. Um, and, you know, like I said, my own personal life, sometimes I give money to, to people that don't deserve it. Just because I love them and they're... You know, it's not like I give them, and not like I throw money away or whatever. I'm just saying sometimes, like my kids or something, if they, they need or want something, I give it to them, you know, because I want to, because they're my kids. You know, there's a difference. But when somebody is, is in need and they're, they're suffering and they come to me, if they don't want to help themselves, that's it. You know, hey, sorry, you got to live there. It's, it's You chose to live there, and I can't do anything about it. But I'll help you out any way I can. So anyway, that's just this is what was on my mind. God bless you guys. Love you. Hope everything is going well for you. Stay healthy and happy and all the other good things. See you, bye.